first of all we need to create a new project we give it a meaningful name mbc and into this project we need to add a add a add a GUI form right click on the on the package and we need we add a GUI form we give it a meaningful name like view because this is our the main view which we display on the screen so give it a meaningful name view click ok and in this view as we can see uh, one panel is already added so we give it a meaningful name uh, panel main and then hit enter so we can see in uh, view.java panel main is already added so on this panel we also need to add uh, two label for the first name and the last name and we also need to add uh, two text field to get the first name and the last name and the lastly we need to add a button uh, this button should be clickable when we click on this button it display a message in the in the J option pane which display like first name and last name has been saved okay so design part is done so in the view the la we need to generate getter and setter for all of them so we select all and click ok so getter and setter is has been added into the view.java so we don't need to do anything else with the java and then we need to add another class to our uh, to our package which is for the for the model so right click new java class give it a meaningful name model hit enter and in the model we need to uh, define a two private variable for the first uh, it will be string type and uh, for first name and for the last name so private string first name and private string uh, last name and for these two variables we also oh sorry it should be private not the protected so private string last name and for this first name and last name we also need to define getter and setter and we also need to create a constructor so right click generate getter and setter for both last name and first name click ok and again right click generate uh, constructor constructor for both so select both click ok so constructor is added to our, our model class so and the last one we need to add a controller so right click new java class uh, give it a name controller hit enter and in the in the controller class uh, we need first of all uh, we define uh, model and the view so which should be private so private uh, model and the private uh, view and and we also need to uh, define a method and we pass to value to it uh, for the model and the view okay so model will be model equal to m and the uh, view equal to uh, v and and in this controller we also need to add an action listener for the button so whenever we click on the button uh, it display a message in the G option pane so to add that action listener we need to define another method so which should be a public type so we give it a uh, any name say so public void uh, init controller uh, like any name And in this method, like we add that action listener to the button. So 
what we do is the view dot get get that button uh, we can save dot add action listener hit enter and this action listener should be a, a new action listener so new and the action a must be capital action listener hit enter and so what this action listener do we when we click on the button so it display uh, a message so so this uh, we can do this by uh, creating a new method so so our controller class is ready but till now we are not able to run this program because uh, we need to add a add a main class to it so we go to the main class and into the main class first we define model view and controller so model m equal to a new model and we also pass a two value to it which is a uh, default value like if we don't type anything into the first name and last name so whatever we type here that will be display in the message we can get the display in the message so first name and last name and view v equal to new view and same with the controller 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 c equal to new controller and we pass uh, model and view to the controller class and then we also c dot initial controller and lastly we need to uh, set a frame for the program so that's all we have done for the MVC app uh, looks like there must be a showing an error okay so what kind of error is it click on the error and it shows controller has private access okay so it should be a public not the private so what we do we we go back to our controller okay oh so we define here a private controller should be a public we can change it here or what we do we can go to go to our main class change here as well so just okay make okay so that's all we've done so this program is ready to run so we run this app and okay here we go so we add a first name any name at the appropriate and last name sing and then I click on save so it's just first name and the last name are saved oh, we need to add a space to it 